because of the popularity of the Endeavor, they have like a special entrance here. It's in a separate building and they take you through another exhibit and then into the actual Endeavor area. space launches at once. I mean, they all look pretty similar. You don't want to have too many variations. Different time of the day. I guess slightly different trajectories of where they want to go. Touch the tires. Oh, here's an opportunity to touch the tires. These tires flew into space on Endeavour's final flight, STS-134. Notice the rubber worn from the landing at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Which I've been to. Okay. Yeah, kind of. It's very smooth. Oh yes, it is very smooth. It's so warm. Touch the, so I'm sure everyone's touched everywhere, but I'm trying to touch the least. I'm trying to touch the least touched spots. <laughs> And here's a uh, nose cone. Do not touch this one, though. So this is how they make fuel and keep fuel going. And it says that one of the leftovers from the uh, reaction water was as helpful to the astronauts as the electricity. It's a lot easier to leave water than to have to bring it up on the next shuttle. I know they didn't really do shuttle launches from uh, Edwards Air Force Base, but they think they had the capability to do that. I, I went there with the, uh, I think it was the Boy Scouts at the time, yeah. It was, it was an interesting experience. You could see like, you know, the big areas where they would launch a shuttle along with the other aircraft. It's an Air Force Base. So. Mm -hmm. Strapping your cheeks. Okay, oh yeah, so, so truly just brought me over. I was wondering why Endeavour was had the had the British spelling of Endeavour, the O U R instead of just O R. And apparently it was named after a British ship. Good find. Her Majesty's Bark Endeavour. Her Majesty's Bark. Is that one of those like, you know, her bark is worse than her bite? <laughs> is that, I don't I don't know. Ooh. Flying tortillas.
Broncos. Super lightweight space shuttle external tank. Uh, so this is that part right there. Julie for size comparison. So this part is just this tiny spot right there. So imagine how big this actual rocket is. Very big. It looks like you can uh, just touch it too. I'm guessing this was actually part of it, or a good reconstruction. It doesn't really say either way. And they have a lot of foam. Here's part of the foam from, from the inside. There we go. 1895. Yep. Huh. I didn't know that. The first two of the tanks were painted white. But then they were just left unpainted, so the orange is actually the unpainted type. Huh. Interesting. So everything adds weight, even paint. When you're trying to get up. Careful about having drinks at your desk. Don't want to spill, like, yeah, so we have a problem. Uh, Bill spilled his coffee again. Yeah, that's why they call him Bumbling Bill. It's for only $6. You two can have a shuttle experience. It looks like a very gentle ride right now. Just wait until UT shows up. Ah, yes. Some pictures of when Endeavor was being transported down the street. Reminds me of those pictures at La Brea where they a bunch of mammoths coming down the street. So many weird things in LA to begin with. And then, yep, here you go. Here's some more. <laughs> Transfer orders for excess personal property. Nothing but a space shuttle and not doesn't cost very much. Only a billion nine hundred eighty million six hundred seventy four thousand seven hundred eighty five dollars by a Miss Paulette K. McGinnis. Yes, so she signed off on all that. Hopefully she was allowed to. Oh, I'm gonna have the movie here. Yeah, just a little video of how they were moving it through. Had to take down traffic lights and lamp poles and all sorts of things. Just cut out the Endeavor room back there. We need to take those stairs down, and then head through that door, and then in that white building there is where the space shuttle is. 
okay, going in to see the space shuttle. That first view is pretty spectacular. And everyone stops in the door because they're like, oh wow. gift shop there. Like it feels big, but not as big as you might think. Looks like wear from looks like wear from like heat exposure. Imagine someone's in there like, hey. Pretty much have to walk into the gift shop to see the uh, shop from the nose. Closer look at the heat shielding underneath here. See what it looks like a lot of wear and tear on it. I'm guessing that's from actual use and not just from transportation. Maybe the newer black ones are where they had to replace a panel at some point. You know, and every one of these has to be secure and 100% or else you're going to have trouble. It's just not good. 
Yes, please do not touch because this stuff is very expensive and not not really replaceable. Now for this one, the shuttle is in space many times. And speaking of things from out of this world, there's Julie over there. Let's see what she's doing. Location services the entire time. <laughs> I Take me to your leader. He's not here. Main engine of the shuttle. So big. Yeah. I imagine putting that in your car. So they have some plans here for, looks like some sort of uh, expansion, including a lot more aircraft. Um, several different renderings, mind you. Put your hand out. I know how to open it. I don't know how I feel about it kind of standing up like that. I like it like this. You know, you can try your neck. Look, I asked Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that's what the stuff looks like inside. So many buttons and switches and knobs, so oh my. Let's push them all and hope we don't die. Cisco, I don't think we're in Kansas anyway. That's the non sequitur. Space hab. Space habitat. This way they, uh... Hey, I can see me there. It's very reflective, yeah. I'd probably Around this part of the perimeter, they had like all the different shuttle launches that they've done. A bunch of Columbia, and Challenger, and then all the other ones, including Endeavor. All the way there. Here is the uh, external tank, which you can also see from outside. Let's go check out the ET-94, the external tank. This is really big. Because the amount of thrust you need to get up, and of course the more weight you have, the more thrust you need. So it's really a balance of providing that thrust. And the amount that you need, and the amount that you actually create. This is really big, and I'll, I'll get a shot from the other side, too.